you gon' run it up, that's all on you You know I ain't ballin', usual like Kobe Ooh, hey, oh, hey, God, 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 God. God. me before we get into this video, make sure y'all like and subscribe or else these cockroaches gonna come haunt you at night and I wouldn't risk it if I was y'all. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy S. Dot. I'm finna show y'all how to make one of the best builds in this game on NBA 2K20. So what you wanna do is make him a point guard. Y'all can choose whatever hand y'all want, left, right. So when y'all get to the pie charts, y'all wanna choose the one that is mostly green or red, which is shooting and defending, so you guys can get shooting badges and defending badges on Hall of Fame. Then once y'all get to the physical profile, y'all just choose the first one, which is mostly speed and acceleration. Which won't really matter until we get into the height. Alright, so when you guys get to setting the attributes, you want to put the close shot to a 83. Then you max out the driving layup and driving dunk. And you put the standing dunk to a 33. Once y'all get down to the shooting, y'all want to max out the mid-range 3-point free throw. And put the post fade to a 77. Alright, so when y'all get down to playmaking, y'all max out the pass accuracy and the ball handling. And then you go down to defense. You don't touch the entire defense at all. You max out your perimeter defense, lateral quickness, steal, and your block. But then I went up and I took off one attribute off of my pass accuracy. So I can have a 46 defense rebound. It don't really matter at all. Alright, so this is where it matters. For the body shape, you choose whatever body shape you want. Now for the height, you want to go ahead and make him 6'5". So that way you're not too short and not too tall. And then for the weight, I went ahead and put him at 211, just so that way the strength will go up. And then for the wingspan, I decided to max it all the way out. You can choose to make it the shortest so you can have a high ball control, a higher shooting. But in 2K, if you play 2K20, you should know all you need is at least a 75 three-pointer and at least a 72 ball control or a 70 ball control to get those animations. And if you have those badges, you should be good. As you guys can see, I had 10 playmaking badges, 18 shooting badges, and I'm going to show y'all clips of me wilding out in the park. So make sure y'all max it out so that way y'all can play good defense. And then the sharp or the playmaking takeover is the best takeover to choose. You can choose slashing or lockdown. But I went with sharp and I got two-way pass for his point. And this build is, resembles Kobe Bryant. And I'm about to show y'all right now in these clips. That was my build right there. Those were clips from a, a video I had done. You guys could go watch it. Link will be in the bio or whatever. But this build literally has no flow. Like, I use this build in the rec. I have to run power forward, and I still be getting like 20. I at least get 20 points and 10 rebounds every game because the badges on this build can really help you. And I'm in the middle of grinding this build out. I got like five more shooting badges to go. But yeah, I'm only a 92 overall, so make sure y'all make this build. This is one of the best builds in this game. And yeah, leave a like and drop a sub and I'm out y'all. Peace.